Air leaks can make your home uncomfy. No one likes a cold draft. Not to mention these leaks are probably costing you a bit of money. According to energystar.gov, you can potentially save up to 15% on your heating and cooling bills each year by properly sealing and insulating your home. And we all love being cozy and saving money. That's why today I'm going to show you how to prep your home for weather stripping. First, you'll need to identify air leaks to help reduce drafts and make an impact on your energy bills. Some of the most common places are knee walls, attic hatches, hiring holes, plumbing vents, recessed lighting, and furnace flues. Next, let's talk about how to do a visual inspection and what you will need. You'll need caulk, spray foam, and weather stripping tape. You might also need a few specialty materials like high temperature caulk, metal flashing, and reflective foils, depending on the project. Start with a careful visual inspection inside and out. Look for gaps and cracks at the common points of air leakage and pay close attention to the outer walls, doors, and other openings of your home. Take notes of any cracks, gaps, or other openings so you can return and air seal them later. If you're still unsure if weather stripping is needed, a smoke test is a great way to confirm. Here's what you need to do. Pick a cool and windy day and turn off all air appliances that create disturbances or have exhaust fans, including the furnace, water heater, clothes dryer, and bathroom fans. Shut all windows, exterior doors, and fireplace flues. Carefully light a stick of incense and hold it near any potential points of air leakage. If smoke begins moving unsteadily back and forth, or if it's sucked out of the room or blown into it, you have an air leak. Now that you've found your home's air leaks, you can get to work sealing them up. Caulk and spray foam are designed to help seal up gaps in stationary materials and fixtures like window frames. EnergyStar.gov recommends using caulk on holes a quarter of an inch or less and spray foam on holes a quarter of an inch to three inches. Weather stripping is meant for items that move, like doors and operable windows between the frames and sashes. There you have it. Keeping your home cozy and saving money on your energy bills is that simple. Pretty easy, huh? Want to learn more about DIY maintenance? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to see more handy tips.